just weeks before the aggression took place, um, President Xi and Putin had a, a summit meeting in which they talked about a partnership with no limits. Well, a phrase like that is of concern. And a couple of weeks into the aggression, President Biden was on a video conference with President Xi and said to him very directly, very clearly, that any material Russian military, any uh, material, excuse me, Chinese military support for Russia in this conflict, or for that matter, uh, the systematic evasion of sanctions would be a serious problem for the relationship between the United States and China. And on subsequent occasions uh, over the months, the president has repeated that message and uh, others of us have done the same thing. And what we've seen to date is China basically holding that line, which is to say there has been some um, non-lethal dual use type support coming from quote unquote Chinese companies that almost certainly was uh, approved by, uh, by the state because there's really no difference, uh, but not lethal military support. And similarly, we haven't seen to date uh, systematic sanctions evasion, but we also have picked up information over the last uh, couple of months that uh, strongly indicates that China is now considering doing that. And that was the, one of the reasons that in the meeting that I had with um, the senior Chinese foreign policy official, Wang Yi in Munich, uh, I uh, again directly uh, told him this concern, uh, what we were seeing, and reminded him of the many conversations between President Biden and President Xi, and reminded him that this would be a serious problem in the relationship. But the reason I think also that, um, well, let me just say, I'm uh, um, hopeful, but in a very clear-eyed way, that China will get that message because it's not only coming from us, it's coming from many other countries who do not want to see China aiding and abetting in a material way, Russia's war effort in Ukraine. And so to the extent China is trying to engage in a charm offensive these days, to re-engage with other countries uh, as it comes out of COVID, um, I don't think it wants to be in the business of further alienating them by providing lethal support to Russia. The jury's out. We're watching it very, very carefully. Uh, we'll see how they react.